What's up, guys? So today we are going to be talking about Thor issue number six. And as you can tell, I totally bought the wrong bags for this board and it just looks really shitty. And OCD, if I have it, it's creeping up. But if you haven't caught up with this series, I have reviews for every single one of the issues. So if you're lost in the sauce, go and check those out so you're not lost in the sauce. I know it feels so repetitive to say this just over and over again, guys, but this is an other amazing amazing issue. I feel like each issue from this series just keeps on getting bigger and better and just crazier. This is the greatest dream team at Marvel. Donnie Cates knows how to write epic things. Nick Klein knows how to draw epic things. And Matt Wilson knows how to color things epically. So it's just a book of epic proportions in each and every way. Each issue that comes out, something crazier is always revealed and something even crazier is in the distance. Probably the biggest threat for the future of the Marvel Universe is revealed in this book. Nobody could have saw this coming. It's insane. So all Thor fans, fans in general, let's get right into it. So the book starts off with Silver Surfer visiting Thor in the throne room. He's kind of worried about Thor, but also he's come to ask how this battle went. Before in the previous issue, we find out that Galactus was the herald of the Black Winter. The Black Winter isn't here to destroy anything. He's here for Galactus. The Silver Surfer simply wants to know what went down because there's not a lot of people that didn't feel that battle go down. I want to know what has happened. And right here, just off the top, I love the way that Silver Surfer is colored. Matt Wilson did a great job here. But since Silver Surfer Black, Silver Surfer has kind of been like this dish soapy kind of black coloring. And I really like it. I think it looks pretty badass. And when Silver Surfer asks, Thor is kind of alarmed. He's like hesitant to even say anything to the Silver Surfer. He just wants to drink everything away, it seems. We move on. And guys, this book and this series, this whole series could be called Thor Violates Galactus. Because that's what he does in literally every single issue of this series so far, okay? He absolutely violates Galactus at any point. Go to each one of these books and you will see Thor violating this man, this entity, which is amazing. Again, Donny Cates, known as the king of putting respect on Thor's name, he does that. We see what happened at that battle. We find out that Galactus basically just lied to Thor. He needed help. He kind of coerced Thor into destroying these worlds so Galactus could get this power and he'll use Thor's help to defeat the Black Winter when really the Black Winter wasn't going to do anything bad to anything. He was just going to come for Galactus's ass. So Thor is rightfully pissed and sentences Galactus to death. And the first violation of Galactus would be Thor taking the power cosmic from Galactus, then sentencing him to death. Nick Klein just draws the best art, okay? It's just absolute violation of this man, which I don't think Galactus is dead after this insane blast where he basically turns into Galactus the zombie, the decrepit. He turns into like a dragar from Skyrim, basically a big galactic dragar. The Black Winter still wants his ass, and Thor's like, Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You're not gonna take him. He is mine, he's of use to me. And the Black Winter's like, Well, what are you even using him for? He's dead as shit. Let me take him. And then Thor responds, I'm gonna use him for a bomb. And he uses Galactus to make this insane god blast, basically blows this man up, and he uses that bomb to destroy the Black Winter. And a single like flake of ash falls from the Black Winter and that was the last piece of the Black Winter. But before it dies, it offers Thor a chance to see his one true end and Thor accepts. And we head back and we actually get to see the payoff from the beginning of the book because Silver Surfer had mentioned new additions to the Bifrost and we see it's Galactus's helmet on the Bifrost, okay? That is the biggest flex in all the 10 rounds, guys, okay? Putting Galactus, an entity like him, on basically your front door, that's just baller as shit. That's how you do it. That's how a God King does what he does. And Silver Surfer then asked, well, what did you see? And Thor very quickly looked alarmed for good reason. We get another, yet another insane splash page of the future of the Marvel Universe. And we see Thanos. Yes, Thanos is back in the Marvel Universe. He's coming back. If you didn't know, he got his head chopped off. He kind of came back through Eros and Guardians, but not really. I think they killed him. I don't know if this is Eros again. I have no idea, but he's back and he's wielding Mjolnir with infinity stones embedded into Mjolnir. Basically wielding an infinity hammer, which you don't get
get any crazier or any more epic or any more badass than this, guys. This is like some shit that people would make up. Like, oh, what if we put Mjolnir with the Infinity Gems? Like, what are they going to do next? Are they going to put the Infinity Gems in Captain America's shield? This stuff is insane on its own. But no, is that not enough for you guys? He is backed up, essentially, by all of the Marvel Universe, all the Marvel heroes, but zombify, basically. So he has an army of Marvel zombies behind him. So all of this is, you know, terrifying. It's insane. It's epic. It's weird as shit. And I love it. You guys, this is the best team and probably the book that's worth its weight in gold at Marvel. If you are to get any book at Marvel, I would heavily, highly recommend if you only have $4, if that's all you can expend, get Thor. Get this book, buy the right bags and don't be a buffoon like I was and just pick whatever. Go and get yourself Thor. You will not regret it. It is the most epic book that I have been reading besides, you know, Batman. But yeah, I don't know how Thanos is going to come back. That should be an interesting thing. Everything that is going on with Thor at Marvel is amazing. It's epic. You are invested each and every single issue. There's not a boring part because all the art is amazing. The colors are amazing. And Donny Cates just knows how to write things that build up hype. They're epic. You feel something. There's something satisfactory to everything that's going on. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you've been keeping up with this series, with my videos, what you think of this series so far, if you've been reading it, and where you think things are going. How do you think Thanos is going to actually come back? Is this coming from an alternate dimension like the Black Winter? What do you think is going on? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But that's pretty much it. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you want, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.